in this video we are going to discuss about derivative controller so from last class itself we started this controllers so controllers are generally used to improve the performance of control system this derivative controller is also used to improve the performance of control system so we already discussed about proportional controller so in this video we are going to discuss about derivative controller generally derivative controllers the output of this derivative controllers is proportional to derivative of the input error signal previously when we are discussing proportional controller that just the output of that controller is proportional to error signal but here as the name indicates derivative controller the output of this derivative controller is always proportional to derivative of input signal so now we can see that derivative controller so now here as the name indicates derivative controller output so i am considering that output as u of t this u of t is proportional to derivative of error signal derivative of error signal means d e of t by dt d by dt of e of t where e of t is the input error signal and u of t is the output of the derivative controller so now to take out this proportion i am going to consider a derivative constant a proportionality constant for better understanding i am calling that as derivative constant so u of t is equal into kd into d by dt of e of t so where kd is equal into derivative control derivative constant derivative constant so here as we done in proportional controller same thing i am doing here just take laplace transform on both sides because next step i want to calculate the transfer function of the derivative controller so for that purpose let laplace transform on both sides so by taking laplace transform on both sides so u of t will become u of s is equal into kd into so d by dt of u of t after taking laplace transform we can write this as s into e of s now u of s by e of s is equal into kd into s so this is transfer function of derivative controller anyone asking what is the transfer function of derivative controller so you can simply say the transfer function will be in the, in terms of s so that is equivalent to kd into s where kd is the derivative constant so now we'll see the block diagram of control system with a derivative controller so now i'm going to consider a control system with input r of s this is r of s input and here this is e of s error signal will be produced by taking difference between input and output i will take unity feedback output and here this is e of s so now i'm writing like this you can see kd into s into e of s will provide you u of s so kd into s u of s if you observe here this is a controller with input as error signal and output is u of s this is derivative controller used in the control system output as u of s input as e of s the time domains are e of t and u of t so coming to the gain or transfer function of the controller gain or transfer function of the controller should be kd into s why i written this kd into s here means if you are using a controller the gain or transfer function must be kd into s if that is a derivative controller so by seeing itself you can say this control system will be a 
derivative controlled control system. So now this is controller used in the control system. General gain will be there. So this is the control system gain and output is C of S. So unity negative feedback derivative controlled control system this one minus. By taking the difference between C of S and R of S you will get an error signal. That error signal by taking differentiation by taking this analysis you are going to produce U of S. That U of S is going to multiply with control system gain and producing the output. So it will improve the functionality of the control system. So in which cases we can use this control system means so this derivative controller we can use to improve the stability of the system. Coming to uh, proportional controller we observed proportional controller in last video. So that proportional controller is used to change the transient response of the control system. If you want to change the transient response of the control system choose proportional controller. If you want to increase the stability of control system, so the suggested one is derivative controller. Then how we can increase the stability of the system? By increasing the number of zeros, we can increase the stability of the control system. This derivative controller, controller will do that process. This will increase the number of zeros. But there are some disadvantages for this derivative controller. So that disadvantages may be steady state error may be increased because order or type number of the system is going to decrease because of that the steady state error of the system may increase because of using this derivative controller in control system but stability will increase. So by using derivative controller we can stabilize the control system. So this is about derivative controller in next class we will see about integral controller.